to Delegate 101, a guide for all Canada-wide delegates as to what you can expect for your week at the Canada-wide Science Festival with your finalists. Though this presentation is for all delegates and alternate delegates who attend Canada-wide, it is geared especially towards the first-time attendees to make their week both informative and enjoyable. The objectives of this presentation are to provide you general information about both Canada-wide Science Festival and its governing body, Youth Science Canada. It will also outline the roles of delegates having at the fair along with all their responsibilities. Perhaps, more importantly, this presentation will outline for delegates and alternates the tools and resources available to ensure a successful week is had by all. This presentation will also highlight what delegates and alternates can expect at Canada-wide, the roles they will have while at the fair, code of conduct, and dealing with conflicts that might arise and how to represent your region. As well, you will get an overview of the organizational structure of Youth Science Canada so you know who is who and their roles. Finally, you will be introduced to Team UV, perhaps the most visible and important people to you as they are the ones who will help you during the week. So, what can you expect at the Canada-wide Science Festival? Firstly, you will meet and make new friends from the hundreds of people who will attend the fair. You will have the opportunity to share ideas and make contacts with like-minded people from across the country and beyond. Of course there are your finalists who, with your guidance, will experience the great event that is Canada-wide. But mostly, we would like you to realize that, though the first couple of days may seem hectic, especially for first-timers, you are not alone and there are many individuals who are there to help you guide you and answer questions you may have. The most impressive aspect of the festival is, of course, the exhibit hall. This is where projects are displayed, safety chucked, and judged. The new display system that was incorporated a few years ago makes setup quick and easy. If finalists find they require tools or materials, there is a tool crib where tape, scissors, and other tools can be loaned. The public is invited to the hall during prescribed times to view the work of the finalists. But the exhibit hall isn't the only aspect of the Canada-wide experience. Many other activities are planned to make the event fun and memorable for everyone. From delegates to finalists to Youth Science Canada staff, we all want to have a safe and caring week for everyone. Here is an outline of the role you will play before, during, and after the week. You will be spending much time with your finalists, so it is imperative that you ensure a safe environment for them. Through contact with Youth Science Canada, you will also need to ensure that rules and regulations are followed. In general, it is your job to act as a judicial parent. You are their parent for the week. Though your finalists are your main concern, this does not mean that you won't have interactions with other regions from across the country. You can provide support for them as well, when and if it is required. Parents will want to know what is happening, not only via their children, but also through the eyes of their delegates. Be sure to keep those communication channels open and that both parents and finalists are aware of the consequences of any misbehavior. The Canada-wide Science Festival website has much more information on the guidelines and repercussions of inappropriate behavior. It would be worth your while to view these expectations outlined for delegates and become familiar with them. They can be found by following the links provided in this slide. Let's take a look at the expected conduct that you, as a delegate, are expected to display. Here are some of the highlights of the Code of Conduct. It is important that you are aware that all participants at the Canada-wide Science Festival be allowed to maintain their self-esteem. This is done by showing respect for all individuals. Any comments or concerns must be directed thoughtfully and appropriately. You must be sure to demonstrate appropriate behaviors at all times that comply with the rules and policies of Youth Science Canada as indicated previously. On the rare occasion, a problem may arise that you feel needs to be addressed. What do you do? As a delegate at the Canada-wide Science Festival, you are responsible for all finalists and, as a result, should intervene if the behavior is thought to be putting anyone at risk. But if an action by any participant appears to be suspect, it is best to consult directly with the delegate of that region if it concerns their finalists. Otherwise, speak to a delegate ambassador or some other member of Team UV as they can direct you accordingly. After all, the safety and security of all is everyone's responsibility. If any participant fails to meet up with all these criteria, it will lead to an investigation and, in extreme cases, lead to disqualification and a trip home. Please be sure to review the expectations so that you are all aware of these responsibilities. Dealing with conflict. How do you deal with these issues should they arise during the week? Well, they may be unintentional only because the person believes what they are doing is right. With that in mind, there is a process which is followed to ensure that apparent infractions are dealt with in a responsible manner. The process begins with a complaint being received from a participant. 
This is brought to the attention of the Manager of Participation Experience, who then interviews the appropriate parties. The manager then reviews the details of the incident with other USIMS Canada staff and the consequences, if necessary, are administered. Complaints or concerns can be brought directly to your Delegate Ambassador. They are your support person to help guide you through issues should they arise. With over a hundred regions from across Canada being represented at the Canada White Science Festival, how do you go about ensuring that you and your finalists are representing your region well? We have already discussed what the responsibilities of delegates are and where on the website these responsibilities can be found and reviewed. But while you are at the fair, there is much more information to be presented on a much more personal level. These activities will allow you to get better acquainted with other delegates and the Youth Science Canada representatives. Firstly, there are the delegate meetings which you need to attend. These will outline activities for the week, special instructions or alterations to schedules, policy debates, and other pertinent information. The Youth Science Canada General Meeting is held during the week where the board is introduced and the direction of Youth Science Canada for the future is outlined. It goes without saying that you are your finalist parents away from home. You need to be available to them at all times whenever a need should arise. So how is this entity called Youth Science Canada organized? Who are the people that make it run? The Board of Directors oversees the well-being of Youth Science Canada. Brad answers to the board and the regions answer to Brad. More of this is found on the next slide. Lori, Julia, Liette, Dominic and Mike work with Brad to help the organization run smoothly and efficiently. You have most likely been in contact with Lori, Julia and Liette by now. You may see Mike if you sign up for a Smarter Science workshop, and Dominic is involved with logistics, francophone issues, and is the MC for the final awards ceremony. Furthermore, Youth Science Canada oversees Team UV, the National Policy Advisory Committee, the National Judging Committee, the National Ethics and Safety Committee, as well as the logistics personnel that include our ambassadors. So what is, and who are, Team UV exactly? They will be easily identified by their very violet apparel that they will be wearing. They include all the people mentioned in the previous slide, and if you have any questions about any aspect of the Canada White Science Festival, search for them and they will point you in the right direction. And now for some general information about the Canada White Science Festival held this year in beautiful Montreal, Quebec. Any information you need to get answered prior to arrival can be found on the Canada White Science Festival website. It is where you and the finalists registered and selected activities. You can also find the weekly schedule. If for whatever reason you need to know what is going on and what may be happening on a certain day, consult this schedule. There will also be one printed on the back of your badge, which you will get when you arrive in Montreal. Information on the week's activities. It is always a very busy, yet fulfilling week right from your arrival to the inevitable departure. Always a hit is the tour day, where you can experience the local culture and attractions that make the region famous. Also on the website are the dimensions of the display boards that the finalists will be using. This helps to ensure that the project layouts is arranged efficiently and visually appealing. Many finalists choose to laminate their project prior to arrival, transferring them in tubes allowing for a quick and stress-free assembly in the exhibit hall. All finalists must be sure to view the Judging 101 videos. They provide valuable information on the awards, how judging works, and tips and tricks. Watching them will certainly help to alleviate the stress and uncertainty that goes hand in hand with the judging process. The highlight of the week is the award ceremony. And there is something new this year for parents that they may wish to know. It is the visitor's package. Be sure to direct parents to the website so they can enjoy the pomp of the ceremony of the awards. Another new venture this year is a mobile application. It will contain handy information on judging and schedules at the tip of your finger. And don't forget Facebook, Twitter, and other social media. Let's stay in touch and download the smartphone app now. That's about it for this video. Though we haven't discussed meal arrangements, the opening ceremonies, or the mini McGill science experiences. But wait, that information can be found on the Canada Wide Science Festival website. Thanks for watching and we look forward to seeing you at the festival.